Hello and welcome friends. Welcome to another fountain pen review. This time I have for you a modern fountain pen. You can still find it on eBay. Actually, this particular piece was a gift all the way from America from a gentleman named Friedrich Diel. And uh, I want to thank him for this beautiful, beautiful fountain pen. Actually, he sent me a bunch of writing instruments and cartridges, and among them was this interesting, interesting looking fountain pen, which I will review today. If you want to see the content of the wonderful gift from America, I will leave the link to the video at the end of this review. So guys, if you watch closely this fountain pen, it might seem to you quite familiar if you know the model from Twisby, Twisby Echo. Unfortunately, I don't have a Twisby Echo in my collection, but I will certainly leave some links to that product on the screen. I found it sold on eBay. And yes, guys, this is a clone of that model. And um, like all clones, this comes from China. And actually, we will, we will review today the model LAN, I'm sorry, LAN B2. And actually, the model is thermically engraved here, 3059. Well, this particular model comes in different colors, including uh, all in a transparent body, the demonstrator version. You can see it is a piston filler with a gorgeous, gorgeous transparent body. It has some interesting elements. At the end of the cap, we have the logo. Also at the top of the clip. The clip is quite functional, it's quite stiff, but uh, easy to use. You can see we have an uh, open space right here. It's, it's an interesting, interesting design of the clip. This is made out of plastic. It has uh, multi facets and engraved on one facet, we have the name of the producer, Lanbito. Okay, guys. Again, the logo imprinted right, uh, uh, engraved, sorry, thermically engraved, right uh, near the number of the model, 3059. And quite, quite nice presentation. It is a rather big fountain pen but quite, quite light when you hold it. The cap unscrews and it reveals this beautiful, beautiful looking nib. And regarding of this nib, it's the type of a Lamy nib that you find on a Lamy Safari. And I have here another model. It's not a Lamy Safari, but rather also a clone of the Lamy. So, if we zoom on the two names, we can see that they are the same shape and they have roughly the same characteristics. Of course, this nib, the rainbow nib, is uh, thermically treated to look like this. It gets in touch with uh, some heat and uh, the steel deal envelops these beautiful, beautiful colors. So, yes, I think they they can be interchangeable. You can see they are the same, the same uh, type of uh, nib. Of course, on the Lang B2, we have a plastic feed, a transparent plastic feed. But looking on the shape, they are quite, quite similar. So, I believe they can be interchanged so i will put this aside i'm not sure that uh, 
those are made by the same producer. This is uh, also known as Kren, as you can see engraved on the nib. So Kren, extra fine nib. This has, I believe, a fine nib. Yes, we have engraved the size of the nib on it and again the logo of this chinese manufacturer is interesting we have a multifaceted grip section and also interesting we have that system that uh, giant giant feeder that uh, has uh, that system which uh, is designed to use all the ink in the reservoir before it uh, finishes writing. So, guys, I need to show you. This is the piston turning knob. It matches the color with the cap, as you can see the cap here. Another nice touch is the two rings uh, thicker on the cap and narrower before the turning knob it's interesting that the turning knob matches the faces of the multi faces of the cap and it is in the same the same color i like uh, the fact that it has this uh, screwed in cap and now i want to show you the curse of the piston so if you turn it it goes all the way back here and then you can fill it up with ink quite a generous reservoir of ink here all in all it's a wonderful wonderful piece what I also like about this is the fact that you can um, dismantle it quite, quite easy. So this part over here, it can be twisted like this and it reveals the whole mechanism and you can easily take it off and clean the reservoir so quite a simple simple design i'm uh, curious to see how it will stand the test of time you can see that uh, friedrich that uh, gifted me this uh, beautiful beautiful fountain pen uh, it uh, gifted it to me new so it wasn't used and uh, I will use it for a period of time you know that I like to match the colors of my fountain pens and by the way guys this Len B2 is available in different different colors and I will leave a picture of the different varieties you can choose from on eBay practically they all have the colored cap and the turning knob, the piston turning knob. This part is transparent on all the models. And um, as a common element, all have this red uh, logo on the top of the cap. So, guys, I think it's a nice, nice variant. Again, I'm sorry, I don't own in my collection the Twisby Echo to do a proper comparison between the two models. But uh, you know me, I uh, start usually from uh, the cheaper clone and then I gradually save the money to buy the original product. It's uh, in a way, maybe it's a far-fetched comparison, but now i'm holding a clone of the parker 51 with an aerometric filling mechanism and tomorrow i will own the original parker 51 with the beautiful aerometric filling mechanism 
so let's start from the cheapest ones and then compare them with the legendary ones the flawless ones maybe the cheaper ones have some production issues but uh, in general i will give them a try like i am doing now with this chinese langbito fountain pen again i like to match the color the exterior colors of the body of the fountain pen with the color of ink i have here a faber castell ink this is a dark turquoise ink and uh, i will call this a light turquoise maybe it has uh, another uh, name maybe you can uh, see this as a light light green but unfortunately i don't have a uh, light green ink and i will use this turquoise instead okay let me put this back on and guys just like uh, a size comparison before i will do the writing sample so i have here the clone of the lamy safari and a pretty expensive fountain pen the meisters took 146 fountain pen so you can have an idea about their dimensions of course i will leave also the dimensions of our fountain pen on the screen and after that we will do the writing sample so guys for the writing sample i will change the angle of the camera yes guys this is perfect i will just change the angle of the camera now i will open the ink bottle I will give it a little nice shake and I'm curious to see how much ink will this reservoir take. I'm such curious right now. So like all the piston fillers, I will turn this knob first. So like this, oh, I'm sorry. I've dismantled it, but I didn't place it uh, back again, so I have to screw this part here, this ring, so I hope it will focus, yes. So, gently I have to, to squeeze this to unscrew uh, this, okay, okay, and now I can operate the piston turning knob. Let me see. So I will turn it in this direction. Hmm. Maybe it's not closed enough. Yes, now I think I... Okay. Now let me try the same thing. It has that clicker. I'm not so sure okay if it's supposed to do that way okay till the end and now i will insert this let's look for a bit to at last time at the beautiful beautiful feeder which now is transparent because it's brand new after i will do the inking it will be a colored colored one i'm not so sure how good it can be cleaned after the first thinking and uh, that will be a nice thing to see in the future how well it cleans so let me give you a nice perspective of the ink bottle i will incline it i will put this here and now i will turn back the turning knob and look, all that beautiful ink is being drawn. Okay, quite, quite now, nice amount of ink for the first time. It has some little bubbles. Maybe it is time to do the same procedure, but back again. And now 
we'll do the same thing again. It appears to be the same amount of ink. I don't like the, the small bubbles right here, but I think they are quite okay. I have a little tissue right here to remove the excess of ink. Quite a nice reservoir, a nice, nice reservoir. And I'm curious to see how this beautiful, beautiful fountain pen writes. So guys, remember, after you use the ink, always, but always put back the cap to avoid little accidents. Let me see now if we can cap this fountain pen. Yes, but it doesn't hold. Let me see now. No, it appears that it's not securely placed. But no problem, you know that I don't use it capped. So, what do we have here, guys? We have a LAN B2. And the model is 305 nine and i must tell you guys it is a smooth smooth nib i am quite impressed with this nib so this is let's say a clone of the twisby echo model but uh, this nib is wonderful guys it is a smooth smooth nib of course made in china made in china well i'm quite impressed about this nib being a steel nib i don't think it has much of flex but let me test it so no flex to it I don't think that I have some line variation, but I will also test that. So here, no pressure, guys. And here, a little bit of pressure. Maybe I can see some little, I believe little, little line variance as I apply pressure to it. It seems to be quite a nice juicy nib, but let me do the testing, guys. So not such juice, but uh, an interesting wet, wet writer. Especially when you think that we have a steel nib, a steel nib and an F for a fine nib. By the way, let me see if we can reverse write with it. So reverse writing. I'm quite impressed, definitely a possibility, this is a yes, and in reverse writing it writes like an EF, and in normal writing it writes like an F, so definitely a possibility guys. Let me see how it does on signatures, quite quite a nice uh, signature piece, and uh, what else, what else? So I've done the flex, the reverse writing. Now I think I can tell you about the quick um, brown fox. And let me give it a little zoom for you guys to see. I will try to write as big as I can. So the, come on focus, the. I want it to focus, but when I put my hand, okay, okay, so the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. I'm sorry, guys, I hope that yes, it focuses. 
so the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. What can I say to you guys? I'm not a particular fan of EF or F nibs, but this is a quite, quite smooth nib and look, no pressure and it simply glides. It glides on paper, guys. So, uh, unbelievable. I think it's uh, one of the smoothest writers in the last uh, time. And uh, when I see such uh, fine uh, writing instruments and it glides uh, beautifully on the paper, yes, definitely, definitely a well, well um, writer. And I recommend it for, I recommend this piece for uh, school people, pupils, and, but also for students or other uh, scholars that uh, tend to write uh, quite quite long sessions i like about th this fact so the first thing that i like about this fountain pen is the fact that i have a smooth nib the second thing i like is the fact that i have a piston filler the third thing i like is the fact that i have easy access to the reservoir to to flush it and use other type of uh, ink colors. And uh, fourth, I don't know if I've mentioned it, it is a quite, quite light piece. Uh, maybe as a downside, the fact that this doesn't post, you can see. This was, this is a shame because some people like to use it uh, uh, as a counterbalance when they write like this and another fact it is quite quite a large fountain pen let me put it side by side near a Mont Blanc 146 guys so you can see it's bigger than the Mont Blanc 146 and in my opinion the 146 has the perfect shape it feels so natural in the hand so maybe especially for young girls that have a small small um, hands it could be a quite quite a big big piece but a wonderful wonderful piece guys this was my review of the langbito 3059 I must tell you that I'm quite impressed about this cheap Chinese uh, clone fountain pen. If you have the chance, just buy it and have fun with it. At this price, you can't go wrong, even if it would last you only for a writing session. Just play with it. And uh, maybe... When you are finished with it, if you like it, you can uh, buy yourself the original, let's say, Twist B Echo uh, fountain pen. So uh, you have to fall in love with this kind of model. And what way to see if you like it? By starting with a cheap version of it and in time, evolve to the real deal so thank you for your time guys i want to wish you to have a wonderful day wherever you are if you've enjoyed this small review of an interesting chinese clone fountain pen the lambito 3059 please subscribe to my channel to support my activity again a big thanks to my friend friedrich diel from USA then send me this wonderful wonderful fountain pen uh, for uh, me to, for me to show uh, it to my audience uh, I will see you again in the next episode with an interesting fountain pen till then bye bye and God bless